Welcome to Hooking and Stitching On Style. I'm Antoinette, your hostess, coming to you from Deer Island in the Bay of Fundy, New Brunswick, Canada. I'd like to thank all returning Fiber family members, new Fiber family members, and if it's your first time here, want to join the family, click subscribe below, click the bell, click all, and hopefully YouTube will notify you when I upload a video. Um, as the title says, this is some happy mail. Um, one is uh, an acquisition that I got some stuff for the upcoming Potiversary celebration. And the other few are gifts that I've received from winning the wheel, uh, wheelie thingy at Lisa at Ladybird Love's three year Potiversary. So I'm trying to do a few at a time that have come. Uh, some are gift cards and um, I can say I can thank the people who the gift cards came from. Uh, some people wish to remain anonymous. Some people were anonymous. So, but I wanted to share with you because I was just so overwhelmed winning the wheel. <laughs> I really, really was. And the other thing that I have is the Hobie order came for the solar flare shaw. We'll talk about that after I get through the happy mail. So, I'm going to start with the acquisitions. I'm going to sh show you what I got. It came from Timu. And some of these are prizes for the four year part of our celebration on August 20th at 10 a.m. Atlantic time, starting. And if you hear it, we're having a heck of a rainstorm. The first thing I got is a set of cro unique crochet hooks. There's eight crochet hooks in here. If you can see the bottom. I'll take one out so you can see it. And I'll tell you the sizes it comes in. I'll keep the bag, screw it back in the bag. But these are the crochet hooks. Starts with a 2.5. If I put it upright so you can see it. It starts with a 2.5. 0.5 millimeter and they, they're like the clover hooks, boy hooks. So you have a 2.5 and we have also a 3.0, 3 millimeter. We've got a 3.5 millimeter. We've got a four millimeter. We've got a four point five. A five millimeter. A five point five. And a six. Six millimeter. Now, if you look how these are, yes, there's there's extra, they're long hooks, but they're curved. Um, it has a thumb rest right here, if you're a pencil holder, and if you're a knife holder, it has the grip on the side right here. So, these may be in one of the prizes for the gift away. All right, during the... Um, year or excuse me four year potiversary celebration on the 20th then sorry about the crinkling sorry about the crinkling And then here we have some cable needles. Now these will be broke up because what I do is I make up little notion pouches that might have a cable needle, a tapestry needle, maybe a um, some stitch markers. If it's a knitting one, uh, point protectors. So, but these are some. These are the J, the J hooks. I also got. Four packs of these 
in all the different colors they came in. And these will be put into packs. These are the point protectors. The hands. There's red. Like a violet, lavender, lilac, whatever, purple. Lisa, close your eyes. Hot pink. And orange. So that's to go into the prize basket I have over here. And then the other two things I got, these are for my knitters. One of these sets may be in the uh, Potiversary prize packets. This is a set of knitting needles. These are made for hats, mittens, stuff like that. These are 16 inch, they're bamboo, and they go they go from a really small size. There are, I don't want to open them because they're too crinkly. They've got very bright colored cords. Um, and they go from a 2.25 all the way up to nine millimeter. I think there's 18 hooks in here, 18 needles in here. But that's a 16 inch. Then I got this one here. These are uh, like a like a plastic. They're like my Denise hooks. Uh, Den yeah, my Denise Tunisian hooks, same material. And these are 31 and a half inches. So these can be for a lot of things: sweaters, shawls, blankets. Um, and they start at. The sizes are like stamped into them, but they're not colored. They're the same color. Well, there's a lot here. And these are all the colors. Nice bright pastel colors. So that is stuff for the gift away. And then this was mine. It's a pumice stone for my foot. So that's what I got from Timu. It's a small order. I had got Barb a set of the bamboo hooks in the long 32, 31 and a half inch cords for, to add to her knitting uh, toolkit. So, we'll do the hoagie. I'm going to say this, the wheels, wheels prize is less. If you remember, I told you I had to order, I decided to do the solar flare using the opal fire salt and cake. Because the gradient was there. And I will show you when I'm done with all this where I'm at on it. Because I've been to a color change and it's, it's beginning to add the second thread in. So. And also in here are a couple things I got for the Potiversary 2. I'll show you those first. Got a couple of these bags that say bag of happiness. Now, this may be filled with yarn and some notions. It might just be the bag. You never know. But I got a few of them. I thought I would put into the way I got three to be exact. Into the pile over here. Okay, I ordered two cakes because I'm controlling the colors. So if I don't use it all, then I will, um, let me smell good. Oh no, it's my wax burner I smell. Um, so this is the fire opal. We all know about salt and cakes. It's uh, 200 grams. It's uh, 800 meters, which is approximately 874 yards. So there is 16, 1740 yards roughly in these two. I only need 1300 for the shawl, but I have to control the colors. Then I found this sock yarn and you have to, you have to admit this is the flames in this color are going to be absolutely awesome. Those are the flames. I'm going to do the nine flame tips, the, the nine flames with this sock yarn and this is um I, I i'm sorry i step back it's not sock yarn it is number one 
but it is 100% cotton. So my whole shawl is 100% cotton. So these will be the flames. I got my kandi. Put that over there. And they never have the prices. So. That was. What is. And I may put this. Uh, put hashtag Hobie. And send this video to them. Who knows. I might win some yarn. I think, what's it say here? It says make an unboxing video. How to take a picture or record a video of yourself. Unboxing boxing a package from Hobie. Share it on Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag. Hobium unboxing. So we'll see. So that's all I got for a quote happy mail that I bought. Again, the yarn was for the Solar Flare Shaw. It wasn't a yarn order. I just didn't have those colors in my palette. I gotta stop this here for a minute so I can get these other boxes. Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I need to make a couple corrections. I was, it's hashtag Hobie unboxing. The other thing is, when I was referring to the colors, and I said my palette, what I meant was not in my stash. Reds, oranges, yellows. I mean, I've got a little yellow, but reds and oranges, I don't. Only red I ever had was when I did that um, Canada, uh, Canadian flag blanket. So, I'm just going to push these aside over here. For now those are a couple of the packages that came to me but first off I want to thank Lisa and Lucy and an anonymous, I have a wool, house, wool warehouse order heading my way. When it comes, I'll share it with you. I've been given permission to share it. I also received a $22.50. I received a gift voucher for Lisa's Etsy shop. Those are in, in route. And that was from Silver Wings. And mindful crochet. And if I screw somebody's name up, I apologize. I'm trying to read my notes and my writing's terrible. But when this is all said and done, I'm going to be putting a formal thank you. But I try to email everybody. I try to put a, I'll put together a formal email with everybody and thanking them for this. Yeah, it's just, it's just epic. <laughs> um, gifts that I've re I'm receiving. So the first one, this person wishes to remain anonymous. And I respect their wishes. That's the only way I, I ask them first. And if they want to be anonymous, they'll be anonymous. So I'm just going to hide this down here. And I'm going to open it. I've notified this person that... Um, I received the package. You know who you are. Thank you very much. Wait, this is this is some tough bag. Okay, so there's there's a note here. Just give me a second. I'm just going to pause the video here for a second. Okay. Yes. It put a smile on my face. The note 
itself put a smile on my face. Love you dearly. Thank you. So this is what you sent me. And this is a real treat to me because I've only had this once in... I've only had this once. Sorry for the crinkling. Oh. Okay. I'll show you this. I have to open it here. Some stitch markers. Did you make these stitch markers? Please let me know. Oh, they are gorgeous. Okay. I need to... Piece of white paper. Okay. Piece of white paper I can show you too. These are... These are earrings or stitch markers. Oh my gosh. These are just so beautiful. Okay. I'm trying to get them so they turn around so you can see the color. See the beautiful blue and their earrings or stitch markers. I will definitely wear these as earrings. And the other one is absolutely beautiful. Can you see the butterfly and the colors? And the gold. They're beautiful. Thank you very much, my anonymous donor. I know who it is, but I'm respecting this person's wishes. Thank you very much. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to put these over here. Okay, next. Wait, do you see this gorgeousness? This is hand dyed yarn. Okay. Yarn Amore by Harini. The colorway is. I gotta get some light in here. Oh, I put my light up so I can see. Can you see me? Block my face. Okay. It's daffodil, it's cotton. Fingering weight, there's 550 yards, and there's two of them. Look, oh my gosh. Oh, it smells so good. And if you notice the colors, these are my colors. I love them. Thank you. I'm going to have to find a special project to put these with. And they're cotton, so it has to be probably a summer top. And then, this was a special gift from her to me. This is also Yarn Amore by Harini. I've never heard of them before. If you can see right there, Yarn Amore by Harini. Can you see this colorway? You know what this reminds me of? The Bay of Fundy, Morning Fog, Sunrise. And this is Rosso Levanto. That's the colorway. It's called Rosso Levanto. Ooh, oh my heavens. It is an 80-20 blend, 80 wool and 20 silk. And you should really feel this. Oh my heavens. This is a sport weight. There is 360 yards. Oh, that is so soft. All I'm going to say is my fiber family member person, sister, brother, however you identify. We have to be politically. Never mind. Don't, don't even go there, Antoinette. Hand dyed. I feel so special. Thank you so much. Love you from the bottom of my heart. I'll be emailing you. So 
So thank you. So that was one of the <coughs> gifts off of the wheel, plus a special gift from, from her to me. Thank you, thank you very much. I'm going to put this just over here for now. Thank you again. Thank you so much. This came today too. Let me show, show no addresses. Okay. It's not opened. This is from Karen Y. She said I could say her name. This is from Karen Y. And she is a moderator on Lady Bird Loves. You'll see her in the lives all the time. Fellow ladybird. Make sure I don't cut any things. Okay. Custom forms copy. I don't want to see it. I've never had these. I'm getting stuff I've never had. Oh, where do I start? Okay, we'll get these because these are bigger. Are you ready for this delicious? I have never had a cinnamon swirl cake. And she sent me four cinnamon swirl cakes. Look at the colors. Oh my gosh. This is called lilac and lime. Love the colors. Um, it's 100% acrylic. 227 grams, 8 ounces, 407 yards, or 372 meters absolutely stunning i'm going to have i'm seeing mosaic because i've got some new mosaic patterns from courtney at fiber fox studios i got four of these i can't even get them in my hands karen thank you my first cinnamon swirl cakes i love karen cakes um and I love cinnamon swirl. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Crochet exclamation point. I think this will be worth a book look, a little video after. Maybe I'll do a little video after this. I'm just going to do some videos tonight. I'm sitting here. And, oh my. This is summer 2023. And we'll have to do a book look on this. I'll have to see if somebody's already done one, though. Oh, Karen, thank you. We'll just I'll just show them some of the things that's in here. These are some of the makes that are in here. Yes. There's some really a couple of cute tops in here. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. Ah. Congratulations little blue heart Ooh, my colors lilac the blues with greens when you see that you have to think of the sea says Antoinette congratulations on winning Lisa's special pot anniversary spinny willy grand prize I look forward to seeing your gifts trickle in. Enjoy your prezzies. Best wishes, Karen Y. Thank you, Karen. It's a beautiful card. And oh my, <laughs> I am absolutely overwhelmed with this. I'm going to put this in this here. And I'm going to put this box right there. Then, it's a little kitty tape measure. And we can never have too many tape measures. Um, Beanie, if you're watching, turn away. Turn away. I don't want to traumatize you. Take its little, little tail and you pull. And you press this cute little nose. It goes back in. Oh, that is, that's adorable. Thank you, Karen. Thank you very much. I put it right in my little three bowl thing there I have like my notions in that I constantly reach for and then back be happy 
I am happy. Um, I am happy. This is uh, very overwhelming. I'm not used to it. It's very overwhelming to me. Nice zipper and a tassel. Nice strong zipper. And ooh, I can fit. I'm going to take this out. I can fit a lot of notions in this pouch because I have been trying to put together, I kid you not, to have a handful of these packs made up in a bin. One will be crochet, one will be knit, you know, so that I have stitch markers, scissors, tape measure, whatever I make <laughs> in this. So, Karen, thank you so much. I'm overwhelmed. Anonymous, thank you. Overwhelmed. Um, I want to thank the anonymous donor of the 10-pound wool warehouse voucher. I haven't used it yet. I got a $25 Amazon gift card from Katrina. I think I got that right. Katrina. Again, if I screw up, please, I'm sorry. I'll get it all straightened out. And then I had gotten a voucher to Lisa's Etsy store, which, and that stuff's on the way. I had fun shopping. I love all, I mean, you know, you just want to buy everything up. Um, not only that, she's adding something new every day. And I also did get I may make some of these with beads for the pot of archery to go into the giftway bags. And that is Lisa's Sun Flare Scrunchie. And you know what really would look sun flare some of the uh, not this here particularly because it's for my flames but some of the we'll see so if you don't have this pattern inexpensive well written easy to follow go get yourself one at her etsy shop it'll be in the description box below um trying to remember I just can't remember everything. I said there's some orders. There's some gifts coming. I've been notified that they were coming. I don't know what they are. But I want to thank you. I'm going to stop this for one moment so I can clear this desk off. So I can show you the final part of this video. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to show you Solar Flare. And then we'll end this video. I don't want it to be too long. It's 27 minutes already. But I'll show you where I'm at. Now, if you remember, I started with this red. That was the Hobie Twist Twister. Hobie Twister, solid. Then I went to that red. Okay. Then I took and I reversed wound the ball. So as I'm knitting, we're in there's one strand of orange in this now that I'm on. And this mess the, I, i've had a few issues with the threads making sure i've had to tink back frog um if i missed one of the strands but if you look at it you can see the orange starting to come in and once i get to more orange then i will be putting the red beads where the orange beads are at so i'm using the orange beads on the red so it pops and this one also introduced yellow let me just pull this down my needle a little bit so I can open it up for you. All right, there's my other needle. And this is how it's looking. That's the center and it's flaring out and the beads are popping. You can see the lace pattern coming in. Now, I'm going to check first with Lindsay to see if it's okay. If you remember when I was doing my one shawl, I did a little stitch tutorial on some of, of the stitches. And there is some special stitches in this shawl that I thought would be worthy for me to show you. Now, I won't show you the pattern, but I'll put the abbreviation for the stitch, and then I'll show you the stitch. Because over here, 
I started setting up my table. I've got the lights and I got my camera set up for for tutorials. That's what that table is for. And also to catch the overflow when I got stuff going on in the desk. But that is what I have so far. And I mean, seriously, can, can you see the flames with that? It just popped right and I'm like, yep, that's it. So I ordered it and they weren't that expensive. I think they were on sale for $1.99 US. So I'll just put this over here. But that's where I'm at in the solar flare shaw. I am on round 68, almost on 69. And there's a couple of things that take place um, in this round. For a couple of rounds, uh, my stitch count goes down by one, but it's made up on, because um, you, your stitch markers move. And reading in the pattern notes ahead of time, and I reread them as I'm doing the pattern to make sure I don't miss anything. Um, they'll be made up in the following couple of rounds on uh, double yarn overs. So that's all I have for you in this video. Um, I will... I have some stuff downstairs that tomorrow will be taken off the blocking table. Uh, sewn in the ends, they're done. Um, I have to do the cord yet for the Juliet top. Um, one of them I can't show you because it is Darlene, little sis's um, May June blocks down there. So I won't show you that. That's going to go into a package to her. But the Juliet top and the um, cable, cable sweater. And I, I have one more part on the cable sweater. I got a block because there wasn't enough room. I ran out of blocking pins. Is the cowl on the neck. Because the way I made mine, it's going to be like almost almost like a boat neck. So that the... I'll, I'll, I'll put it on. Hopefully it won't be too hot. But I'll put it on so you can see what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed, as much as I did, opening up the winnings from the Potiversary Spinny Willy thing. And thank you to everybody. You absolutely just, uh, words can't even describe how I feel. Um, I'm feeling very, I feel special. Um, I feel loved. <laughs> um, unworthy. But I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So remember, I hope you're staying safe. You're staying healthy. You're happy. You're doing what it is that makes you happy. Here's bye for now from Deer Island. I'll see you in the next video. Love you all. Have a wonderful weekend.